Our first speaker is Marcus Brooks, My Sweet Beloved Mistress, A Crispy Cream Story. Marcus Brooks. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning our guest. Good morning. Jeff. Yes. <laughs> My wife once told me that I treat food as if it were my mistress. <laughs> At first, I disagreed. <laughs> I would say, no, I don't. But then she would start to bring certain things to my attention, just to prove her point. I would get excited when I ate. <laughs> I would hum or sing made-up songs while consuming the food. <laughs> And I could talk about my favorite dishes all day long as if I were a professor giving a lecture. <laughs> so I thought to myself, why not write a letter to my beloved? <laughs> <laughs> not just any edible delight, but my absolute favorite, the queen bee of all desserts, the Krispy Kreme hot original glazed donut. Ooh. This is what I wrote, my dearest beloved. <laughs> dearest beloved, I'll never forget the day I met you. You were bathing in hot oil, making sure every part of you was golden brown. I felt troubled at first because I already had someone in my life yet I couldn't look away from you. <laughs> you captivated my focus and I became mesmerized by your appearance. You saw me staring at you and so you teased me by immersing yourself into a sugary glaze that soothed your flesh like body lotion. <laughs> once, you once you resurfaced to the other side, your body glistened of such divine sweetness I could no longer contain myself. I had to have you, more of you. <laughs> Two, six, twelve portions of you. <laughs> My wife told me no, but I could not listen, for I knew she didn't understand. <laughs> How could she? You and I were meant to be together. <laughs> From the moment I saw you, I knew you had the potential to change the world. So I had you wrapped up and delivered to me like a king waiting in his quarters. I ran away with you to our old spot. I ran away with you to our old spot. You remember where it is. <laughs> In the front seat of my vehicle. As we were hidden away by tinted windows and covered in shade and all alone. I tasted you slowly because I had to enjoy every single part of you. You tasted as I imagined that you felt so divine. As I nibbled upon your flesh, your appearance touched my soul and gave me such a feeling that I had to consume every inch of you with a glass of milk. <laughs> Others called you OGD for original glazed donut, but I refer to you as the prototype. For there was none like you before and hasn't been one like you since. You are perfect in every single way. Yes, words can't bring you down. Oh no. My wife told me that I must get rid of you. I offered to share, but she wanted no part in the three way love triangle. <laughs> <laughs> I kept you hidden and pretended to break it off because she had great health benefits. <laughs> and she believed that we actually broke it off at first. <laughs> oh, dear prototype, our passion grows deeper and deeper. I cannot wait to consume all of you, and oh, how you rush to the way of my heart, which is through my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> my heart was in pain when I was, when I was away from you, and it felt, it felt as though my arteries became clogged when I consumed you. I put on weight, but it was okay. Just more room in me to love you. <laughs> when you touch my lips, I get excited. When I taste you, I blush. And if anyone dared to try and take you from me, I'd cuss them out. Yes, a chaplain would cuss them out. <laughs> when I think of you, all I hear is smooth jazz. I love you just the way you are, but I prefer you to be hot and fresh. You're softer that way and much easier to consume. 
Recently, my blood pressure and cholesterol has gone up. <laughs> <laughs> and I darn near have hypertension. <laughs> now, my doctor has teamed with my wife in telling me that I should separate myself from you completely and try on something new like a carrot or celery stick. <laughs> The thought alone disgusts me. <laughs> when I see Snickers, Kit Kat, or Godiva chocolate, I just walk on by, for they are tasteless in comparison to your sweet love. I could never be unfaithful to you. Well, almost never. The other day, a vanilla bean French macaroon from CH Patisserie was flirting with me. <laughs> and I must admit, <laughs> and I must admit, she caught me in a time of weakness. The temptation was far too great, and the flesh is weak. I admit I enjoyed the sweet taste. Please forgive me. I won't ever look for sweetness again elsewhere. I'm stronger now. Well, bigger, but I look stronger. And the <laughs> look you brighten my day because you're good at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, even in between meals. My wife has grown curious of my sneaking out of the house after dinner. <laughs> the moments I slip away during church and all the family gatherings I disappear from and randomly reappear <laughs> with grease stains on my shirt. <laughs> I'm weak and my lives are no good, but I will never let them stop us from being together. I must lay low for now to calm everyone's spirits, but promise that you'll wait for me, oh sweet beloved. Promise that you'll wait for me. With my deepest and most sorrowful thoughts, until we see each other again, your most faithful love, Marcus. Mr. Wow. Toastmaster.